I'm Nada Thompson, curator of Creative Time, and I'm going to walk you through a show called Democracy in America, the National Campaign. We're at the Park Avenue Armory at 66th and Park Avenue in what's called the Wade Thompson Drill Hall. This is the center of activities, almost like a, a space that's meant for a counter convention or political art happening. We've got artworks all over the place. Currently, I'm standing on Pia Lindman's Soapbox event. And just like the tradition of public oratory in the town square, these are soapboxes where people could give speeches from. And the space, in essence, is a giant soapbox, in the sense that all these projects are meant for people to participate in or basically get political. Sitting here in the Tactical Ice Cream Unit, a truck by the group Center for Tactical Magic. There's a lot of things this thing does. It's got surveillance cameras all over it, but it's also a propaganda machine and ice cream delivery system. For example, somebody can get a bomb pop and choose their flavor of propaganda, like this, a Halliburton fact sheet. I want the world to know you won't be this is high treason. Mm. I'm sitting here eating a bowl of ginger peanut soup in the incubate space. This whole room is a little soup kitchen. It's got furniture made by a group called Material Exchange from Chicago. This is all recycled materials, art crates, and whatnot from trash cans. And then what happens is people that buy the soup, it's five bucks and they get a vote on an artist grant. And there's six artists currently up for the grant and the proceeds, everyone gets to decide who it goes to. In some sort of kind of a electoral system, if you will. And there'll be guest chefs. It's kind of a social space based around soup and alternative commerce. There's a library in the front, it's the best. Cuando tu quebraste la ley. I'm standing in front of Duke Riley's submarine called the Acorn. It's a replica of an 18th century submarine, which might be totally shocking to you that there was an 18th century submarine, it certainly was to me, but it was used in the Revolutionary War. Throughout the exhibition, you're going to see a lot of references to American war. It's interesting that the iconography of American history, the visual culture that makes up us as a nation, often comes a lot from war. Artist Allison Smith, with her hobby horse, references the Civil War, and she's worked a lot with Civil War reenactors as an artist that comes from Virginia, to kind of mine the patriarchal narrative of that, to kind of undermine it with ideas of craft. We have artist Mark Tribe that's dealing with the history of the New Left, particularly in reaction to the Vietnam War. We have the United Victorian Workers, who did a video basically dealing with the Victorian period and labor struggles of that time. So this idea of reenactment is very much in the air in contemporary art in general, but I think it has a very political purpose. It's there to make us aware of the histories that are often used for purposes of nationalism or a bellicose country, and they want to retool that for something a little more interested in social justice or peace.